Okay, so uh, my P5 glove just came. Um, I don't know exactly when it was, these things were released. This was brand new in the box. All the package and everything. I got it for forty bucks. So um, the system requirements say they it requires at least a one hundred megahertz PC. So eh, they're a little old. Um, I think they may have been a little bit ahead of their time though. Um, this is clunky, true. But really, there's not that much out here like that. Um, it's going to be superseded. Things like these are going to be superseded, of course, by uh, um, like the Xbox Connect. Uh, PlayStation's got a way to go. But the Xbox Connect will certainly, I mean, we can just use your hand for all this stuff. <clears throat> However, uh, this is 50 bucks, And it is open enough to allow you to do just about whatever you want to or with it. Um, so there's a glove, basically, you can see here, you got a... Oops, my lighter. Uh, power button, uh, A, B, and C buttons. Uh, you can program them however you want. Uh, these little bumps on here are uh, uh, those are our IR emitters. So this thing, um, you've got five finger movement all in analog. Uh, you've got uh, yeah your buttons here, but it also tracks uh, its uh, position in 3D space. Uh, X, Y, Z. Uh, pitch and yaw. Um, it pulls all those. I mean, which is really, um, I, I think, still be ahead of its time. It's a little clunky, but uh, let me show you how it works here. Uh, so basically, um, I've got my arm rested on my chair. Uh, it's completely comfortable. Um, one of the things I noticed first off is uh, similar to, well, when I'm playing games anyways, uh, I find myself picking up the mouse a little bit uh, just to get the, uh, the mouse further over uh, to the edge of the screen. Um, that's useful, uh, that technique's useful when using the P5, um, and basically what you do is you hold down these two fingers, um, just like you're lifting up a mouse. Move them over, and then uh, uh, move your cursor in the position that you want it in. And try not to hit all your other buttons. I got the sensitivity set a little bit high on this right now. Um, but like I said, it's my first day. Uh, the, one of the things I really don't like about it, though, is it's... Uh, it's too hard to get from side to side. I like to get from uh, one side to the other side, uh, leaving my hand and my armrest. Uh, well, a, a lot of the, what this is about in this gaming hardware stuff is uh, not really about gaming. Um, I think uh, there are an awful lot of gaming devices out there that would be especially helpful to people with disabilities. And that's kind of the, the angle I'm taking on all this. So, you know, comfort are things I'm looking for, uh, simplicity in operation, okay. But the one thing about the P5 here is that you can adjust the sensitivity so it accounts for shakes and jerks. You can tell it, okay, if you have uh, the mouse accelerate a certain space, just ignore the movement. And that way, you know, if you have a jerk, it's not set up right now, if you have a jerk or something like that, uh, the mouse will stay right where it needs to. Um, well, so that's the basics. You just up, down, left, right. It's all very intuitive, too. It doesn't care whether I go left, right with my palm up like this or my hand like this you know you can pretty much do it however you want and uh... it just surprised me i, I thought there'd be a lot more manual handling of this uh... this software but there really isn't um, it comes with a now this is from glove pie but this is uh... It, that's a program i mentioned that basically you can, can use any sort of controller on your pc with glove pie uh... Wii controllers connects just about anything um, and so what we have here is the configuration, so I just double click that. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. Um, to configure the uh, fingers, um, what you do is you make a fist, and just a comfortable fist. don't have to go all out or anything, just something you feel comfortable, like a squeeze or something. Hit the A button, that sets a zero point, and then let all your fingers out. Hit the A button again. There you go. Now it is completely calibrated uh, to what is comfortable for you. Um, you can set the mouse buttons over here. Um, I don't know why this keeps defaulting to that, but it's irritating me. But we'll just set that left click is the index finger. Um, the middle click is your thumb button, and the right click is, uh, of course, your middle finger. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, your thumb, thumb finger, whatever. And you can see here also that uh, uh, you can adjust the sensitivity for each click. Um, I've got mine set about the way I want them. Um, it works fairly well, like I said, first day. Um, and then you got some, oh, and those are just to test the, the other four buttons that are on the P5. Um, so that's all the calibration, that's all there is to it here. 
Uh, so I'm just going to hit uh, apply there and OK. And uh, well, just like a, let's go through a simple application. Uh, I promise a game later on. Uh, I don't have it configured that far and I don't feel like doing it tonight. And it's just about time for me to go blow shit up. So, um, okay, so let's just do Chrome. It's my personal Chrome, so if you see anything, ignore. Um, and let's see here, one of my favorite sites to go to is massively.com. So, as you can see, you know, it may seem a little clunky at first. But just using some of the uh, Windows interfaces, uh, I'm going to click my thumb, which is the middle mouse button, and now we have that nice that nice scrolling thing. I'm going to lock my fingers in so the mouse doesn't move, sit back in my chair a little bit, do the middle click, and then, look, you can just read. Uh, oh, oh, it's going too fast. Miss that, miss that. And, of course, that is omnidirectional. You can go left and right, too, if, the, if you've got your resolution pumped way up because you can't see it. Let's control plus that. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our scrolls this way, our scrolls this way, and it is all analog, my friends. So you can go as fast or as slow as you want, read it as big or small. Uh, these finger buttons are all programmable. You can program them based on the angle of pull. If you want to get that uh, specific, um, you can program. Uh, kind of like finger macros, sign language, you can think of it as, oh, that's a good idea too. I wonder if you could type in sign language. I have to look at that. Anyways, um, yeah, so you can do like combinations of fingers, kind of like sticking your mouse with the uh, the two fingers. Kind of feels like, uh, I guess that's Spock's move, isn't it? Um, you know, but you can uh, configure other actions that way. So, for instance, we could have easily uh, created the screen zoom uh, with, say, the pinky, boom, 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 and you, and you zoom your screen. Um, I guess that's all about about all that I have right now. Um, yeah, I'm fairly technical, um, but this seemed pretty easy to me. Um, you know, you get into a lot of scripting and stuff like that, uh, but if you're not afraid of that or you're not afraid to learn, you know, this it's a nice $50 project, and it does some really cool stuff. Um, you know, like I said, I'm going to look at it in... Re games, of course. Um, I'm also going to look at it as far as controlling Windows 8 because I think uh, with a touchscreen interface, uh, Windows 8 is kind of set up pretty well for this. Uh, if you've got any questions, throw them in the comments. Otherwise, have a pleasant night. And Steve, we got to go out drinking again. Bye-bye.